minute, Madam Scott Cato. Thank you, President. Although Johnson is trying to bounce the Westminster Parliament into rubber stamping the Brexit deal, our Parliament should do its job properly. We need to accord this treaty that is so crucial to the interests of the EU and the UK sufficient scrutiny. Since Brexit was clearly intended as an attack on European standards and on the integrity of the single market, we must not allow Brexit fatigue to weaken our resolve. We must defend those standards. We welcomed Monsieur Barnier's idea of the level playing field, preventing the UK from undercutting the single market and its standards on environment, workers' rights and tax. But in this deal, Johnson has moved those restrictions from the withdrawal agreement to the political declaration, which will not be legally binding. This is a clear signal that they are preparing the UK to become Singapore on Thames and is a threat to the integrity of the single market. Our European Parliament has already agreed that we will not agree the deal before the Westminster Parliament does, and we must stick to that in spite of any pressure that might come from the Council to make hasty and risky decisions. Our job is to ensure that we protect the European project and the interests of present and future EU citizens.